After applying the red colors, we are going to paint the metallic parts. This is a metallic part from the 10 Labs, a new painting brand that is releasing his Kickstarter now in May. Uh, but you can use any other metallic that you, you want. Uh, my preferred ones are from uh, Amo, Amo Mig. Uh, but the idea is to keep any silver metallic and cover all the parts that you are going to paint in metallic colors. No matter if they are going to be golden parts or metallic parts or copper parts, no matter of, of this color, uh, just paint everything in this silver color. Now with uh, chestnut ink, you have to apply a thin layer like a wash, a control wash, in all the parts that are going to be golden. You can use any chestnut ink because they are pretty similar in any brand. Uh, and my advice is mm, to use a big uh, brush and to be a bit careful while applying it because it is a wash, but, but it is a control wash, right? It is uh, a bit similar like to apply a glaze and a wash at the same time. You need to cover everything, but you have to control where you are leaving the final drop in the different parts. Because as you see, the ink accumulates in the gaps, creating shadows, but you can also create artificial ones like this one or this other to generate a first shadow in the metallics. Another recommendation that I have to make to you is uh, to apply a, a single layer and don't try to uh, wrap over the surface uh, for a long time, just a few seconds, because uh, while drying the, the ink over the surface, it can leave some um, stains and we want to avoid that because after Brushing is hard to, to eliminate them over the, the surface. We have to repaint over and we don't want to do that. So apply a single layer and uh, when dry, you can apply a new one maybe to re reinforce some shadows uh, here or, or there. Uh, it's up to you how you want to look or uh, it depends on your skill while applying it. Try to avoid bubbles that happens when you wrap the brush too fast in areas with a lot of uh, detail. So be careful in, on those areas or eliminate them while you see uh, over the, the surface. The idea is to finish and look uh, flat without, without bubbles, obviously. Well, remember that if you like what I'm doing, you can support me by subscribing to the YouTube channel and giving me a thumbs up in the video if you like it, but also by subscribing to the Patreon. Uh, for only 3 euros per month, you will receive exclusive videos about different topics like fundamentals of painting, different techniques, uh, exclusive processes, and you will receive exclusive uh, discounts on different shops. Uh, so I think it's worthly for you for only those three euros and you will help me a lot to still continue creating uh, content in the, in the different media uh, formats and help me to grow even more this community that we are creating around this project. i uh, leave you with the video, thank you for watching and bye bye! Notice how I leave the, the drop of paint in the lower part to create the shadow. And take into account that this is a first approach to the golden. This is a, like a base coat of golden uh, that we are going to work over in the next steps. Uh, but we need to uh, have a, a view, a general view of the metallic parts and the colors of the figure right now before gluing it and start working in a more refined way 
that allow us to create more contrast or add more detail, uh, making a more elaborated metallic or whatever. I want to push a bit more the contrast in the metal areas, uh, the gold metal areas. And I want to show you this problem, uh, which appears when we use metallic pigments. Uh, the surface is very satin and the uh, surface is slippery, so our paint doesn't uh, cover very well. You can fix it by using matte varnish, as I did. That's because this uh, metal pigment looks uh, like normal, well, not normal, but common pigment, uh, more matte, less uh, with less uh, bright spots, as you see. And now you can uh, observe that applying the color is like applying any other color in any other surface or at least very similar. It is covering very good at the first uh, try. So remember that if you want to work over your metallic pigments, it's a good idea to apply matte varnish before. I'm trying to boost the shadows in the same areas where our previous was with the chestnut ink uh, created the uh, dark zones but at the same time and adding new ones as you see i'm trying to follow at the same time uh, the scheme that the the was has generated but also the non-metallic metal uh, interpretation of the, the surface. I recommend you to take a look at the video of non-metallic metal if you want to learn more about this. But the idea is to boost uh, both parts, the created ones and also new ones that we can create because we know where to place the shadows, for example, as I did in the, in the weapon or any other area.